my sweet sweet stars welcome back i hope that you are good so let's uh let's carry on with looking at your person's thoughts for you today so we're going to use two decks uh deck number one and deck number two i want you to go to the deck oh, that you are most drawn to uh this one is the slow tarot i got that one imported from america a couple of years back um, and this one is the rose tarot which is kind of one of my it's not even that new editions now i got it in october but i love it love 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 number one number two think about your person and go to the deck that you are most drawn to so as always it'll work on the mutual energy between you guys i think I'm getting used to my hair now kind of like it now <laughs> right so number one let's go so think about your person for me as we get into your collective energies and let's see what they are currently like right now at this point in the day thinking about you let's see what's going on okay what is your what is their people their person thinking about them one two they're wanting to go everywhere, aren't they? Three. So often as a tarot reader, you can tell a lot from the initial shuffle. Um, so before you even kind of look at the cards, when the shuffling kind of comes through quite rapidly, like what it was doing, there tends to be a, there's a feeling of excitement going on with this deck. It's quite nice, isn't it? Deck number one. So your person makes you feel happy, makes you feel excited, um, and your energy between the two of you is actually really, really positive. Um, so pull five cards, and what we'll do is we'll talk through the cards, and we will see what spirits say and see what the cards say. Those of you who don't know that I am Claire Audience, so I hear spirit as if me and you are having a conversation. Uh, through my right ear, it's higher dimensional guides, and through my left ear, it is your closer guides. When I do mediumship, dad's family is on the left, mum's family is on the right. Uh, but as we go into your reading um, as the cards, I tend to just work with your spirit guides uh, for collective readings. So, now that I've gone on a rant, let's have a look. Okay, so what is your person uh, person's thoughts about you? So, let's start off with the fact you've got two major arcana out of five cards. And they are both quite positive cards. You've got the sun and you've got the world, for those of you that read tarot. So, this is major. Major, major. And with the sense of the cards kind of coming through, that feeling of excitement, there is major excitement going on for this relationship. Your person really likes you. They're actually really, really into you. Um, and you make them happy. You... Spirit is saying you give them a, a kind of a confidence boost. So we've got a little bit of ego going on there. And I just got Saturday, the song uh, Saturday's Ego. Not for the specific words, but just for the ego side of things. You give them a bit of a boost. You make them feel confident. You make them feel happy. And they are really, really into you. They really like you. So the song card will speak of happy times, happy outcomes, joyous occasions, things working out for you. And it looks like that your summer months are going to be extremely good with your person. The world also speaks of success. It speaks of coming together, a cycle being completed, fresh new beginnings going on with you guys and a very, very positive energy. It's a great, great card. So both of these cards right off the bat is saying that this person is really into you. They really, really like you. They have these deep emotions for you. They have these deep feelings and there's this sense of excitement. Let's see where this goes. Great start. Okay. So then we've got the King of, uh, King of Pentacles, Knight of Wands and Four of Pence as well. So the other cards kind of coming up with this, with this feeling of excitement, we have these two uh, court cards. Now, court cards are always related to people, and um, sometimes they can be si sometimes they can be situations, but largely it is people orientated. Um, remember, Tara is never sexually orientated or gender specific, but these are male energy cards, okay? But it will be the person that you are thinking of. So, what's going on with them? Well, first of all, we have this stability energy, we have this family energy in their thought process to you, and we also have this very strong sexual attraction, okay? So, they've got this idea that you guys can be together that everything will work out that you can build a relationship with them with the king of pence over here now with the knight of wands kind of stepping in this is movement this is sexual movement but sometimes it can be a little bit non-committal so what your person is currently thinking about it about the situation is they want to see how it develops without committing to you at this point in time so they've got hope that it's going to work out they've got hope that you guys can be together they've got hope that this situation is going to progress there is excitement there is joy there is all of that and it's this kind of 
all right, I'm really attracted to you and I just want to take my time before I offer you the full level of, of commitment that you guys want. But with the King of Pents there as well, it is in the background of their mind. So they are just going with the flow of it, really into you, really, really like you and just want to see what happens. And with the Four of Pents kind of coming up at the end, this one is saying about just holding on for a little while, waiting to see how it all unfurls. And that is a specific, like, what we've just said about. So... The two, the two, the king and the knight movement, movement, holding on to the situation, movement, waiting to see where it kind of all plays out with the long term plan of hopefully giving you, well, you guys as well, you know, you might not want to commit to them at the moment, getting to know you, getting to bond with you, building that connection. And that is what your person is thinking. So they want to build the connection to you. Let's just recap quite, you know, recap. They want to build the connection with you. They are really attracted to you. They fancy the pants off you. Um, they see that you can have a future with them. They see that there can be stability here. They want to just take their time with it. They probably want to um, sow the wild oats with you, potentially, before giving you that level of commitment. So just be aware of that. Um, take your time with it all. Okay, Take your time as well. You need time for this. And if it goes at the right speed, then this relationship, what they want is it for it to develop. They're really into you. They want to see what, where it goes, how it, how it all pans out. And that's deck number one. Good cards. Good cards. Good reading, deck number one. Okay, let's show, shout out to deck number two. So if you just tapped in, tuned in, turned on, um, we are looking at your person's thoughts about you. Um, and we're doing it as a collective reading. So that's how all my readings work on the channel. For private readings, you can just drop me a message. Mysticlovetarot at gmail.com. Think about your person or the person you are inquiring about. And let's go. So what are their thoughts about you? I love this deck. The energy of it. Oh, we've got two jumpers straight out. The energy of it is absolutely beautiful. What are their thoughts? Do be really positive readings all around that number one was all right as well let's have a look let's see if we can get a full house three well technically four but those two jump together let me just get two more four okay five right your cards are pretty good too your cards are pretty good let's start at the very beginning okay let's start at the beginning your person has got emotions for you. They have got feelings with you for you. So you've got the Knight of Cups and the Nine of Cups. Knight of Cups and Nine of Cups jumping out together. I have a, a, a little bit of dyslexia. So sometimes I get nine. Uh, sounds really weird. I get nines mixed up. I, I also get the letter N and the number nine mixed up. Bizarrely. Um, okay, so you've got the Knight of Cups and the nine of cups so two cup cards two emotional cards your person is really into you they do really like you knight of cups is someone making movement towards you expressing their emotions so your person is actually quite sensitive uh quite open to love and really um wanting to invest in this relationship with the nine of cups next to it spirit is saying to me that you set their soul on fire which is very deep words, isn't it? So this is a very dynamic relationship. This is likely to be a higher vibrational connection. So you could be twin flames, you could be higher vibrational soulmates, you could have past lives together. And if you want to look at past life readings, give me a shout, we can do them for you. We being me and my guides. I always say we, I know it looks like it's just me <laughs> on the screen, but we um, is the connection to spirit. They are always in my ear. And that's why you'll always see me with headphones on when I get the chance to just <laughs> quiet and I'm out a little bit, uh, Claire audience. Okay, so your person really, really into you. You set their soul on fire and there is this dynamic relationship with you, very high spiritual connection. Your person really fancies you. They have caught feels for you. They have these very strong emotions. Really, really into you. And also spirit is saying with me, uh, saying with me, saying to me for that, regardless of their circumstances, your person is into you, okay? So circumstances are a little bit peaked on, things like, mm, maybe um, you are in a bit more of a complicated circumstance, your person still has these very strong feelings for you. And it's in the thought process as well. So their emotions are infiltrating their thoughts and their thoughts are, I'm falling in love with you, okay? We've got the lovers next to it. 
All right, it kind of speaks for itself with these two cards. Uh, very strong feelings, very strong emotions. Um, pure essence of love. Again, more likely to be a divine connection going on with you guys. Now we have at the top, um, some people would say this is an angel guiding. Sometimes this would speak of a third party and a triangle over here. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then I am not talking to you, okay? So the third party people watching, um, you will know about it, okay? So there is uh, potentially something influencing the situation. Again, circumstances, which are what is making it more complicated. It's not about the love of you that you two share. You two have got a very, very strong emotional connection. The circumstances perhaps are just keeping the two of you a little bit at bay at the moment, but it's not about their emotions because they do really, really love you. They love you. They love you. Falling in love with you, in love with you both of those feelings. You've got the Queen of Pents kind of coming up at the end um, of the first row. So she is looking towards the lovers over here. She has the stability, she has the security. So they are seeing you in this kind of maternal energy, in this family energy, in this building energy. They can build their life with you. They can see all that, they sense all that and they want that. They want that. Again, regardless of circumstances, um, if it is a little bit peaked on, they want to build the life with you. Okay? The Queen of Pens. Lover. Lover, lover. Now, the other two cards, I kind of carry on with the positive theme and then I'm just going to have a little talk to you about the, the one card which we need to talk about. Okay, so six of wands at the end, suggesting victory, success. Okay, so everything that you have here in the thought process, really into you, really fancy you, falling in love with you, slash already in love with you. Uh, perhaps circumstances a little bit more complicated, but they really, they love you. They love you. And they know it, they know it, and that's in their thoughts as well. Now, the card that might counteract it is the Nine of Swords. And I often find this when the relationship is a very, very love orientated reading. People often think love and hate are opposites. Um, I'm sure that's a song. I just heard love and hate are opposites. People often think that, but actually love and fear are the two polar opposite energies within spiritual connections. So if you find that your person with all these love emotions either kind of pulls away a little bit, retracts a little bit, panics a little bit, it's because sometimes these fears will take over. Because their emotions are so, so strong for you, this makes them feel a little bit weak on occasions. It makes them think, well, um, you know, I'm really, really into you, but what if I get hurt? What if history potentially repeats itself? What if um, I can't work it all out in my head? And they get into this fear energy and that is what can make them pull away from the connection, okay? So just being aware of that, being aware that um, they have fears that come with all of this sense of love. What's really positive over here is that the love cards definitely outweigh the fear cards. Their emotions outweigh their head trying to panic them, okay? So they are really into you. They fancy the pants off you. They think about you a lot. Um, even if you're not in contact, if you're not in contact, this is a sign that your person is really missing you, okay? Really wanting to open up that level of communication with you again you've got very strong movement coming up uh, especially you know with the knight of cups and the six of wands and the nine of cups really really positive cards the lovers also very very strong energy coming up between you and your person they really really like you really like you and they know it and that's what's going through their thoughts they want to see where it goes they want to plan this future and um, very very positive reading for deck number two beautiful beautiful way to start the year okay so if you need me just drop me a message mr love tarot at gmail.com you can also find me on instagram and facebook and you can dm me on there uh, i do uh, em i do video readings but email readings or voice note readings is a 24 to 48 hour turnaround and um, so if you want a quick quick answer you can just give me a shout and have a tenor a question british tenor um and that's it all right, guys, I love you to pieces and I will see you soon. Ciao.